and welcome to the very first Expressive Baby Weekly Podcast. My name is Kim and I will be your host for this episode. I am an Expressive Baby member and mom to three-year-old Reagan, two-year-old Aiden, and six-month-old Madison. Before I became a mom, I was very active in the workplace, the work world as a marketing manager for a very prestigious firm. I put in over 60 hours a week and I always felt that I would be a fantastic mom and remain active in my career as well. In other words, like most women, I thought I could juggle it all with ease. But when Reagan was born, I realized how difficult it was going to be to return from maternity leave back into the high-paced workplace that only months ago was second nature to me. On my first day back, I was sick to my stomach leaving Reagan for over eight hours, and I cried for the entire drive to the office. I was completely unfocused the entire first day on anything except how long it would be until I could get back to my baby. And it didn't get easier for me in the first week, especially when Reagan would be crying as I was on my way out the door. I was really fortunate to have my mother to take care of her while I was at work and while my husband was working, but it didn't seem to make it any easier in leaving her. I was filled with this overwhelming guilt and sadness, and I wasn't spending all my time with this new creature, and I found myself really starting to dread going to work at all. My performance began to suffer, and I was completely in jeopardy um, of losing my job, really, for the first time in my life. No longer was I willing to go the extra mile to go to functions that required me to travel or put in extra hours for my company. I wasn't willing to go to business dinners or after hour functions. I really just wanted to get home. And at this point, I realized I was at a crossroads. Millions of moms go back to work out of necessity or desire. So why did I feel like my world was crumbling down around me? I went on in the state for about another two months before realizing it was a lost cause. I was trying to do it all and have it all and I was failing miserably at both. So after one night, especially a long, hard, horrible day, I sat down that evening and had a heart to heart talk with my husband. Um, during that talk, we, we really discussed what our financial obligations were and tried to figure out a way for me to be able to make a decision about leaving my current job. And it was after that discussion, the next day I went into work and put in my notice with the company and I quit my job. Once that decision was made, I felt like a thousand pound weight was lifted. I was able to stay home and devote myself to my daughter for the first time since I went back to work. I felt at peace. Now, we had to scrimp and be frugal with money for a while, but I really didn't care. For me, it was the right decision and one that I would make again in a heartbeat. I eventually decided to go back to work after my second born Aiden was about six months old but I was very careful in selecting the job and I chose one that was a lot less stressful even though it was a little bit less money it didn't require me to work overtime or travel and I was very comfortable in my decision when I did go back to work to take this less stressful job. I was one of the fortunate moms um that I was able to make these decisions to leave the job that demanded so much of my time. But what about the moms who don't have the luxury of quitting because they either depend on their income or because they need or actually want to continue working? First of all, um, I've found that being open and honest with your boss is the best way to go. Explain your situation, find out if there's the remote possibility of flexible hours or even working from home one, two, maybe even three days a week. 
more and more companies are realizing that telecommuting in is a win-win situation and are extremely open to at least approving this option on a trial basis. If working from home is not an option for you and you do have to go into the office five days a week or you have some other type of job that isn't office oriented that demands you be there, um, my next suggestion is to stop feeling guilty. The guilt was what made me so miserable eight hours, 10 hours a day um, in being away from my daughter. So take a deep breath and stop feeling guilty about the time you're not spending with your daughter. If flex time's not an option, just don't despair. Stop feeling guilty about the time you don't have and just make sure that the time you do have to spend with your new baby is quality time. It's amazing how much the memories of your time together the night before are going to help you through the next work day. Just little things like taking a walk and talking to your baby. Um, you know, walk around the neighborhood pointing out different things, really communicating with your baby. That's quality time and that's going to make a big difference the next day at work in your level of guilt that you feel about leaving. If your job is high pressure and high commitment position, you might want to think about changing to a comparable position, but one that demands less of your time and is less stressful. This was a solution that worked for several moms I know who are much happier at their new jobs. Now, you may have to take a pay cut. You may not. You may just find another company who has flex time, who is open to the fact that you're a working mother, or who offers more vacation time, or, you know, anything like that. Just look for a company that is less stressful and demands less of your time than the current one you work at. Now, if this is an option, send your resumes out immediately. Just the act of sending your resumes out are going to make you feel less helpless, less hopeless, and give you a feeling that you are in control of your life and your job doesn't control you. Now, if none of these are an option and you have to stay at your current job and work the long hours and changing companies at this time isn't an option, then make sure to bring photos of your baby with you to the office. This act alone can help you focus on the fact that you are working to support your child and that in itself is an act of love and caring. Drum that into your head every time you look at that photo. It's not the time. Now, if you put that together with spending quality time on the time that you have at home, you're going to feel a lot less stressed and a lot less guilty about leaving your baby. The last suggestion is to understand and be aware that you are not alone. Millions of moms go through the guilt and struggles that you are having at this moment. If you really are at your wit's end, find other moms to talk to that are in the same situation and you may be surprised what solutions or advice you get from these moms that can help you find an option you may not even have thought of. If you have a question about this podcast or would like to listen to other podcasts, simply visit us online at www.expressivebaby.com slash forums. Visit Expressive Baby to view other podcasts, shop for expressive and unique baby items, or just meet other moms to share stories, recipes, ideas, and advice. Join us next week for our second podcast when we discuss the controversial topic of vaccination pressures, privacy, and practice. See you then. This is Kim saying goodbye and have an expressive life.